You know what? It's hard to travel alone, but every time I go here, it feels like I'm not alone. Guys, good morning. Currently, I'm here beside the Sudirman Street, and this time I'm experiencing the car free day here in Jakarta. So they, they do this once every week. So specifically during Sundays. So this is from I don't know the time. It is like 5 a.m. to uh, 12 noon in the morning. So as you can see, many uh, people here from Jakarta are running along the street. I am now here uh, at the overpass. This is just near. I uh, actually the street is a uh, Suderman Road. Suderman Road is uh, considered as the busiest road here in Jakarta. So as you can see at my back, so many people are walking, many people are running. I think some uh, people are selling their items here, and some people are selling street foods. Okay hey guys, so this is uh, Suderman Road. Actually, this, this is now South Jakarta. When you cross this, the bridge to that end, that is already the central Jakarta. The scene was just unbelievable. Ah, I really like this. I hope Philippines could do this. I think this is one way of how to minimize air pollution, especially when I'm uh, when I'm handling environmental science class uh, back in my university, I I always discussing about how to minimize air pollution, how to minimize uh, water pollution. What are the ways in order to uh, promote uh, environmental conservation? So I think this is a very good idea, and they do this for a long time ago. Parang nakakahapi lang na.
Pero nakaka-happy lang na... <laughs> so... So, um, no, no, no. So it feels, it feels good that people are... It feels good that people are really uh, doing this. I think just for their health and of course for the environment. So knowing that Jakarta is one of the uh, polluted city cities in Asia or in Southeast Asia because of the air quality content. I just don't know why I just don't know why I'm crying. <laughs> Maybe because this is just my dream before to Maybe because this is my dream before to go here and since this one I always see I I always uh, see only this in, in photos and videos but ah, why I'm crying <laughs> But now I'm currently experiencing their car free day. So I would like to uh, maybe also I'm crying because tomorrow I will be tomorrow I will be leaving Jakarta and and I think I, I just love this country I don't know every time I go here I feel, always feel um, happy and. You know what, it's hard to travel alone, but every time I go here, it feels like I'm not alone. So, I'm already So currently, I'm now walking. I'm heading south. I am just overwhelmed about the view, about the people running, about how they care for themselves and and how they care for the environment. Hey guys, so this is now Suderman Road. If you were, if you will be here during the during the normal days, like Monday to Saturday, it is not like this. It is full of cars, motorcycles. It's really different now because it has so many people running, walking, and it feels good that people are more concerned about their health. So it's a bit uh, noisy here. Many people are doing Zumba along the other side of the road. And parang uh, nakakahapi lang tingnan na they are they are running, they are walking. Uh, others are dancing. Okay, so currently I'm here now at uh, they call this as 
Simang, uh, Simangi interchange. So I think this Simangi interchange is one of the best interchange I've seen in the whole Southeast Asia. Because when you try to go up to the building and see what's the pattern for the Simangi, it was really uh, expressive. So this is now the Simangi interchange at my back. And this is my end point. Then after this, I will go back to north, heading north. And I will try to go to Bondaran Echai or Monas, just by walking. So hi guys, it's already um, 7.38 a.m. And still many, many people are running here along Sudurman Road. Anyway, this is this time is not uh, that really hot. You can still uh, run under the heat of the sun because it is not that hot. Because of this part, you can see a lot of trees. Simangi area, so near Simangi interchange, and today is already at this time is already 7:40 a.m. and you can see there's still a lot of uh, people running and walking along the Sudurman Road. Anyway, this is not uh, really a hot day because this road is surrounded by buildings and it blocks the sun rays, and also along the street. At the center of the street, there are many trees uh, being planted, as well as uh, the sides of the street. So when you run, you cannot really feel the heat of the sun. Yeah. Um, this is all already my third time here in Indonesia, and also here in Jakarta, but I never tried to experience this car-free day until now. And it really amazes me a lot because I can't really imagine I, why the government of Indonesia can do this one because in the Philippines we cannot do this wherein you will, you will go into close a major road in the city. This Suderman road is considered as the busiest road here in Jakarta and also the major road here in Jakarta. And, and I think the government is doing well in closing this road for Sunday from I think from 5 a.m. to 12 noon. And it's, it's really a good move in order to minimize uh, air pollution especially uh, Jakarta nowadays are uh, really experiencing um, smog like this one. And I think this uh, program also promotes health, uh, personal health, aside from uh, conserving the environment. So as you can see now, many people are still running and the only operational at this time is the Trans Jakarta. So that is the Trans Jakarta. Trans Jakarta is running at the center of the road. So there are two lines or lanes at the center of the road. So that is the, the road intended for Trans Jakarta. And I think the MRT also is operational at this time because the MRT is uh, situated at the underground. Underground of this Suderman Road. Actually at the at the bottom part of the Suderman Road is a subway. That was being run by the MRT Jakarta. I think those two are operational at this time because if because if because I think if you are already tired running and walking, uh, you can ride the Trans Jakarta going to your original point or your yeah your first point. Okay, I'm going down now and continue my journey to the north. So I will be uh, walking again back to my original position earlier.
aside from uh, the view, which are the people running and walking, you can s you can also see here um, a lot of street foods. Uh, you can see a lot of uh, fruits. Meron din mga street foods na meron mga asomai, shopao, and and many more. Most of here, most of the street foods here are uh, yung mga pantawid duhaw, so mga refreshments like juices, fruit juices, and meron din mga fresh uh, cut fruits. Okay guys, so while I'm checking for the street foods, I, I saw uh, bubu ayam. So I think bubu ayam, according to my friend, is good for uh, breakfast. So I tasted bubu ayam last time. I think that was uh, I think that was yesterday morning. And I made a video about uh, tasting that kind of meal. I will just be putting the link down in my description. So, medyo maingay na party to because there are uh, some bunch of people doing some Zumba and meron ding construction uh, beside the road. So, I think they building a, a skyscraper here. Oh, Mr. Yes! Wow. Yes, sekali. Pada mau hadiah? Mau dong. Silahkan yang dapat hadiah boleh ke depan. Bapak, Ibu. Prepare lah, Ma. Tadi di... So, it's like I'm already walking for about... Uh, siguro nasa 500. I don't know, that's about 5,000 meters. I'm already walking for about 5,000 meters, but this is not new for me because I always running before. But it's been a long time. Maybe my last run was last February 2019. So it's been a long time, but still I can handle this kind of distances like this one. So I think in my estimation, I'm already walking for about uh, 5 kilometers. Kulang kulang five kilometers. Because if you really want to go to the GBK in the stadium, that is about uh, ten kilometers from from Bundaran HI to that particular destination. So yun. Uh, still, I'm just walking from Simangi. So as I observe, most of the sellers are, are selling uh, mineral water. So it is just two, two for five thousand Indonesian rupiah. Then they also have like this uh, uh, fresh uh -huh. freshly is a uh, squeeze. Then you will be able to drink the the fresh juice that was secreted from the fresh orange juice. Then they also have fresh uh, slices fruits here. Uh, most likely, just a typical street food. They have their here the celok, the bakso, the bubur ayam, and I think ketropa. <laughs> and they also have the, the milk tea, the coffee, chocolate tea. And meron din maraming uh, musician dito, like this. So I think also those uh, mus musicians got this opportunity to make a living. So they are playing music and people will uh, get to listen to their music. Then those people are has the free will to give that uh, musician money just for like appreciating what uh, he will, he is doing just to enjoy the people around he around here. So they also have street food here like a steamed banana and uh, steamed banana and sweet potato that is just similar in the Philippines so many people are also making that choice because I think it's, I, because I believe that's healthy kind of uh, street food then they also have traditional uh, street food that I only encounter at this time so meron ditong batagol batagol putra this one batagol putra then and and walang kesuang bubur ayam. So bubur ayam, I believe, is uh, perfect for breakfast. Then, malamit ni to mga sapatos. 
Well, say for example, if you decided to run and you don't have shoes, so you can buy shoes there and run. And meron ding, of course, kapag meron sapatos, meron ding socks, medjas. So of course, para kompleto na. Kapag meron, kapag nakachineras ka lang, then if you want to run, if your outfit is enough for running, so you can buy shoes there and socks. Oh my god. And socks. Oh my god. Okay guys, in here while running, I can see a lot of people running in groups. Meron ding solo, meron ding by pair. And I think yung by groups, sa palagay ko, that is the program of their company. So they need to run siguro at least once a week. And meron din silang uniform. So other groups are wearing like red. Other groups are walang uniform but they have the balloons. Just an indicator that that a particular bunch of people is one group. Yun. Meron ding nagbabike. Still by groups. Meron ding individ individual. Then others are... As you can see, others are uh, grabbing the garbages created by the people, uh, wasted by the people in here. So, nakikita mo talaga na they are really promoting uh, environmental conservation. Akalain mo meron ding upay upay dito? I think this is this event is just a complete like a festival event. You can find a lot of street foods. Meron ding mga damit, merong mga mga sapatos, mga medias, mga pang, mga lalagyan ng tubig. I think this is like a Sunday market here in Jakarta. Meron ding mga kung ano ano. Merong mga insurances. Merong mga sapatos, merong mga uh, gawi pambata, merong mga jacket, ron dami. Then, of course, mga, yung mga hat, like this one. So, of course, yung mga uh, traditional street foods ng uh, Indonesia. I'm now approaching the Google Autos area. And I think this is not the boundary between the South Jakarta and Central Jakarta. Para mas marami yung mga paninda dito sa bandang Tamrin compared to uh, the Sinayan area or near Simangi area. Kasi I guess this is already uh, nearing the Monas. So many people are approaching at this part. Kasi sabi ng kaibigan ko, as what I, my friend said, that many street foods can be found along Bundaran HI. So ukay ukay along the street. Kasi ito yung sinasabi ko kanina, na merong mga uh, group of people here people here na tumatakbo na naka uniforme like this one so I think they just came from one company then they have this program that they need to run once a week so at this part medyo maingay na medyo busy So at this part is already noisy because at beside many people are doing Zumba. So this is much more busier compared to the south area. So I hope my stabilization is good. Oh, it's so
I am here now at Pukuwata's area, so I will just stay here for a while because I'm waiting for my friend Rashid. So we will be going together to Bundaran HI. So currently I am here at Pukuwata's area and some Indonesian recognizes me as a vlogger here. What is your name? Bagas. Uh, this, is Bagas. this is Bagas and you are? Uh, Macho. Macho. Huh? Macho. Macho. Oh, you say hi to my channel. Hi. Okay, terima kasih. Sama-sama. And this is now approaching the Selamat Datang. Selamat Datang Fountain. And I'm with. Oh, can you introduce yourself? You are shy. You are shy. Okay, we will just be walking along the street and. I want to find food for my uh, breakfast. Uh, we are now approaching the Salamatatan landmark. And you can see a lot of people here. This is the landmark of Central Jakarta. Uh, this, is, uh, this is like the heart of Jakarta. Yeah, the heart of Jakarta. Indonesian ado called me ayam. Yeah, yeah. Tapi, tapi ayam aja lah kau ini. Ni yang sotong tak pakai nasi, saya pakai nasi. Anak budak budak kita adalah orang Indonesia. Bukan ni, saya kan. Oh, 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 oh,